Happy Thursday, everyone. Welcome to the Secret Story Draw Awards, where we celebrate the incredible campaign that's been changing lives left and right. I'm your host for this evening, Inel Tomlinson. Hello, hello, hello. And I couldn't be more excited to be here tonight. Now, my own journey in uh, animation and illustrations is since I was a kid, I've always loved doing like voices and voiceover and writing my own comedy sketches and little comic books. When I was a kid, I used to have a cassette tape and I used to put like a little cassette in there, press record, and do all sorts of funny voices and then draw comic books to match it. So that's my little journey, a little bit about me. But for those who are new here and they don't know about the secret story draw, let me give you a quick rundown. This amazing initiative is all about creating opportunities for underrepresented ethnicities in the children's animation and illustration field. As you may know, the industry can be a bit of a tough nut to crack, and unfortunately, there hasn't been a ton of diversity in the past. But that's where the secret story draw comes in, by providing a platform for talented individuals from all backgrounds to showcase their skills. This campaign is opening doors and creating new pathways to success. <laughs> Let me tell you, the results have been nothing short of incredible. But don't take my word for it. No, 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 no. We've got a fantastic video that explains the whole thing even better than I can. So sit back, relax, and get ready to be inspired.
welcome back everyone. Now, tonight we're here to celebrate and recognize the outstanding talent that's been on display throughout this year's campaign. I have to say, the judges had an incredibly difficult job as every submission was bursting with creativity and skill. It's a true statement to the amazing talent that's out there. But before we jump into the awards, let's not forget what's up for grabs tonight. A three month paid internship at one of the UK's leading animation studios. Hoi! Isn't that great? Oh, I wish I could have it. Now, let's have a look at some of their amazing work, including where some of our talented winners could end up. Wow, so many iconic shows we all love and know there, particularly Jojo and Grand Grand. I mean, I hear Terence the Librarian has a fantastic voiceover artist. <laughs> Wonder who it is. <laughs> is that right? Anyway, welcome back. Let's meet the masterminds behind the magic, the talented writers who have crafted the stories that inspired our incredible entries this year. Without their imagination and expertise, our campaign simply wouldn't be possible. These writers are truly gifted in their respected fields and we are in awe of their generosity in sharing their time and creativity with us. Let's meet them now. Gillian Cross has been writing children's books for over 40 years. She has won many prizes, including the Whitbread Children's Novel Award, the Smarties Prize and the Little Rebels Award. There were successful television dramatizations of her Demon Head Master books in the 1990s and again in 2019. David Chickway is a writer and producer. He's produced the likes of the BAFTA-nominated CBBC sci-fi series Eve. He also works with adults on serious primetime dramas at Free Tables, backed by BBC and E1. He plays make-believe writing episodes for The Dumping Ground and Nickelodeon's Hunter Street. As he says, life of a split personality can be exhausting, but thankfully, there's always more chocolate to keep you going. So if you didn't know, He's a chocolate fan, and David Chickway's just his alter ego. Yenis and Shin Fei created Chinese Burn, the first Chinese female-led comedy TV show in the UK for the BBC and produced by Rough Cut TV. It reached number seven on BBC iPlayer a day after going online and was nominated for Edinburgh TV Festival's Debbie's debut writer. Chinese Burn gunned numerous press in the UK and China, their dark comedy pilot, Selma and Clarice, has to date won six awards, including Best Female Script Writer and Best TV Pilot at the Toronto International Women's Film Festival and Best TV Pilot at the Vancouver Independent Film Festival. Their current projects include a drama, a comedy with Rough Cut TV and a children's TV series with Saffron Cherry. Ayesha Baranza, previously a lawyer, she escaped city life and found writing. Her work has won or been placed in a number of competitions supported by, amongst others, Faber, Bloomsbury, Jericho Writers and Spread the Word. Her short story will be published later this year in the Faber Book of Bedtime Stories. She also has a number of other exciting writing projects in the pipeline. Her experience chairing the award-winning Akram Khan Company, resident at Sadler's Wells, afforded her a bird's eye view of creativity at the highest level, which profoundly influenced her own storytelling. Steve Cole is a best-selling, prize-winning author who has written over 200 books for children of all ages over the last 25 years. These include the Astrosaurus series, Cows of Action, Z-Rex, Young Bond, Tin Boy, World Burned Down, and many more. As a writer-editor, he's worked with the families of Enid Blyton, Agatha Christie, and Ian Fleming. At the BBC, he was in charge of Doctor Who publishing across all media and remains a consultant editor to the book range as well as authoring many titles. Jasmine Richards has worked in children's publishing for over 15 years and has written over a dozen books for children. 
ranging from picture books to teen fiction. Her most recent books are Lucas Dive Deep and the Aziza Secret Fairy Door series. She features in the Happy Here anthology and her new novel, The Unmoral Curse, was published in 2022. She is also the series creator of Granny Jinx and Future Hero and a screenwriter for PJ Masks. Okay, so here it is, the moment you've all been waiting for, the awards. But before we do, I'm sure you'd all love to see some of the amazing work that is in the running for awards glory tonight. Let's take a look. Welcome back. Now, first up, we have the best in category. These awards are given out to the entries the judges felt best represented each individual story. The talent on display was incredible and was full of such a rich diversity in visual storytelling. It made the judges' decisions very difficult, but unfortunately, there can only be one winner for each story, and they are... Afro Tales. We can reveal the author behind this story was... David Chickway. And the winner is... Tricia Evans Lutrop. Congratulations, Tricia. Hello, I'm David Chikwa. I'm the producer and founder at Three Tables Productions. I'm also a writer for children's TV, working on shows like Hunter Street and Dumping Ground. I'm a huge fan of the Secret Story Draw. I love what they do, championing diverse and inclusive talent um, within the illustrators and animators community. Um, I'm announcing two awards this evening. The first is for the best in category, and the winner is Trisha Evans Lutterot uh, for my entry, which was Afro Tales. Congratulations, Trisha. I loved what you did um, in bringing uh, the story to life. Backstory. We can reveal the author behind this story was Jasmine Richards. 
And the winner is... Daisy Ferreira. Well done, Daisy. Hi, Secret Story Draw. My name is Jasmine Richards, and I'm an author and the founder of Story Mix, the inclusive fiction studio. We centre children of colour in stories full of joy and adventure and create pathways to publication for writers and illustrators from minoritised backgrounds. I'm so delighted that I could be a writer on Secret Story Draw. I'm here to congratulate Daisy Ferreira for her submission for Backstory. It was a wonderful rendition of this main character, Curtis. You captured his vulnerability and also the fact that he's about to make some really, really bad decisions. So congratulations. I think you're a huge talent and I can't wait to see what you do next. Ginger River. We can reveal that the authors behind this story was Yenis and Shinfei. And the winner is Inna Adiola. Congrats, Inna. Well done. Hi, I'm Yanis Chung, and I'm one of the co writers of Ginger River. And I am here to congratulate Anna, Ina. I hope I pronounced your name right. Um, but congratulations for winning Secret Story Draw. And um, thank you for bringing Ginger River to life. And it's so brilliantly done, and, and it's so fun, and you're so talented. And just like Ginger River, you're actually shining bright. and. Congratulations. Hi, Ina. Hope I'm saying your name correctly. We just heard from Secret Story Draw that you are a finalist in the best in category. So we want to say huge congratulations. Thank you for bringing River to life. You just want to root for him when we watch your animation. So we are very happy that you chose the story and we can't wait to see what you do next. How to fly a kite. We can reveal the author behind this story was Steve Cole. And the winner is Anas Mudakir. Well done, Anas. Great work. Hi, I'm Steve Cole, best selling author of over 200 books for children, everything from Young Bond to The Astrosaurs. And I also wrote How to Fly a Kite for this competition and is very excited to find that the winner in this category is Anas Mudakia, whose work I think is fantastic. I love his illustrations. Uh, characterful, fun, vibrant, colourful, loads of humour and personality in them. Love the little details like the scribble inside the sun. And uh, Anas's work, more widely, also very exciting. I've been checking it out online and I hope that many more people get the chance to see his work in animation. All best. My monster is rubbish. The author behind the story was Aisha Braganza. And the winner is Julia Chen. Well done, Julia. Hi, I'm Aisha Braganza. I'm a children's author. I've recently had a story published in the fabulous book um, of Faber Bedtime Stories and I've got some other stories coming out um, really soon. I'm so thrilled to be part of um, The Secret Story Draw. Um, my story is My Monster is Rubbish and I'm pleased um, to announce that the Best in Category winner was Julia Chen. I loved this illustration. Oh, I, I love the uh, relationship that Julia constructed between Rochelle and Snore. It was really, it was full of humour, it, it was full of warmth, it made me smile. I liked all the facial expressions and the body language. So thank you so much for interpreting my story. Thanks a lot and congratulations. Now for the final best in category, Through the Glass. We can reveal the author behind this story was 
Gillian Cross. And the winner is... CC Hang Low. Well done and congratulations, CC. Hello, I'm Gillian Cross. I've been writing children's books for over 40 years. Uh, I think my best known book is The Demon Headmaster, but I've written lots of others. I'm really delighted um, to be involved with the Secret Story Draw. It's great to see opportunities being given to new illustrators. And I'm particularly thrilled by the illustrations this time for my story through the glass. I think they perfectly capture not just the character of Sol, um, the boy in the story, but the wonderful moment, the freedom and the beauty of the wonderful moment when the glass breaks behind which he lives and lets him out into the whole beautiful wide world. Uh, I'm very grateful to be able to see these pictures and I send lots and lots of good wishes to the illustrator. Wow, what an incredible group of winners. You guys are bursting with talent and passion and it really shows in your amazing entries. A huge congratulations to all of you and a big thank you to everyone who submitted. If you're one of our lucky winners, keep your eyes peeled for an email from the Secret Story Draw team. We'll be in touch soon with more details. Now, it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. The best of the best awards. These are the top nine pieces across the entire campaign. And let me tell you, it was a tough decision for our judges. Oh, I won't want to be in their shoes. Each and every entry was worthy of recognition, but these nine were truly outstanding. Our best of the best winners will be receiving a bespoke handcrafted award, as well as an internship at one of the UK's top animation studios. How cool is that? Oh, I knew I should have entered. All right. Best of luck to all of our finalists. And the winners are... For their submission for Afro Tales, the winner is... Hehenya and Gefe. For their submission for Backstory, the winner is... Daisy Ferreira. For their submission for Through the Glass, the winner is CC Hang Low. For their submission for How to Fly a Kite, the winner is Anas Mudakir. For their submission for Ginger River, the winner is Kai Tan. For their submission for My Monster is Rubbish, the winner is Elia Colasso. For their submission for Afro Tales, the winner is Trisha Evans Lutrot. For their submission for Ginger River, the winner is Catherine Choi. And finally, for their submission for My Monster is Rubbish, Ronaldo Davidson. Wow, it truly has been an amazing night filled with so much talent, passion and creativity. We are truly blown away by the incredible submissions that we've seen tonight and we are honoured to have been able to showcase them. We want to thank everyone who participated in the Secret Story Draw this year. And for those who didn't win, please know that the judges had an incredibly difficult time deciding and that your work is still appreciated and admired. We encourage you to keep pushing yourself, keep honing your skills and keep creating. To all of our winners, we congratulate you again on your incredible achievements. We can't wait to see what you will do next in the future and we look forward to supporting you on your journey. Thank you again for joining us tonight and we hope to see you all again soon. Keep dreaming, keep creating, and keep shining. I'd like to leave you all with a short message from one of our team at the Secret Story Draw campaign, Asia Hadley. 
Hi everyone, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's been involved in this year's secret story draw. To all the judges, the writers and the sponsors, without you none of this could have happened. Thank you for your time and effort putting the word out there, writing stories, judging all these amazing entries. Thank you so much to all the entrants. Without you, we wouldn't be here tonight. There's been some amazing talent and I know the judges had a very difficult time picking. Good luck to all you who have got an internship. We will be in touch very soon. And well done to our best in category winners. If you didn't get one of our internships, don't worry, we're gonna happen again. Make sure to keep an eye on our social media. You can enter again. There'll be new stories, new judges, new writers. Thank you so much to everyone who has taken part and helped this happen. You're helping change the industry and get underrepresented people in the media industry. Thank you so much and we'll see you again next time. We hope you enjoyed this lovely night, because I know I have. Thank you. Have a lovely evening, everyone, and thank you all so much for attending. Now, if you're celebrating tonight, celebrate safely, and I'll catch you next time. See ya.